PeteTools.com. G'day guys, Pete here again. Do I know you how we all going today? Another bloody freezing day on my side of the planet, I tell you. I'm getting too old to be out in this shed when it's almost snowing outside. Anyway guys, what's the old get going on about today? I've been reading a few things online and all of a sudden I realised I'm not sure that you guys in the USA have all got access to 240 volts or 220 volts. So I just wanted to point out a couple of things when you buy a plasma cutter to make sure that you get what's written on the side of the bloody tin because if you're only using a lower voltage, maybe you're getting ripped off. Anyway guys, same as usual, you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. And I'll be really interested in the comments if you can tell me whether you've got access to 240 volt or 220 volt. Anyway guys, enough crap, let's get into it. Yeehaw! So if you've been watching any of my videos guys, you know I've bought a new bloody plasma cutter. And it's 50 amps guys, I'll plug it in so you can see that we get 50 amps on the screen here. So turn it on Pete, here we go, there we go, 50 amps, see that guys? 50 amp and we're running on 220 volt here. So we go right down, we can turn it right down. Go down to 35, right down, it doesn't go any lower than 10 amps guys. 10 amps there, that's where it bottoms out. But the maximum it is, is 50 amp. Which is really, really good. Because that's what it got advertised as, a 50 amp plasma cutter. So let's turn it around and have a look. So we have the input voltage here guys. We're running from... 110 volt to 220 so I've got it plugged into 220 and I get my 50 amps but what happens if I plug it into 110 let's go and have a look now in New Zealand guys we have a standard 220 volt outlet like this this is just the extension cord end and this is 220 volts 220 230 volts but we don't have the option of 110 if I want to use 110 I'll have to use a transformer so if you have a look here guys, here's a big transformer, so that knocks it down from 220 to 110, so you've got 110 volt there and this looks like your guys plug here, whereas our plug is totally different, see that? So we're using a higher voltage, but what I don't know is whether all you guys in the USA have got access to 220 volts or not, and if you haven't got access to 220 volts, then you're going to find that when you buy a 50 amp plasma cutter, it's not 50 amp. So if you also notice guys, I've got this lead that come with my plasma cutter. This is for your guys voltage here, your 110, your receptacle. Well that's a big word Pete, receptacle. <laughs> and this is for mine. This is 220, which this end here plugs into here. Like so. And that gives us 220. And what I did with this guys, is I just modified it a bit, I don't suggest you do this at all, but I just did it to modify it for my garage wiring. But uh, yeah, this is a different story. Now if I want to plug it into 110 to show you how many amps we get out of 110, I just don't use this little converter thing that I made from my workshop. All I need to do is just grab the plug that come with the plasma cutter here and just plug it straight into the transformer. Like so. And then plug the other end of the transformer into my receptacle here and then we've got 220 coming in here we've got 110 coming out into the machine so that'll give us an idea of how many amps we're going to get at 110 right now guys we'll kick it in the guts again and see what it does eh here we go did you see what happened there did you see it was on 50 and it just shot straight back down to 35 see this is the maximum here I'll do that again, but I'll go a bit closer. Rightio guys, take note of the screen, what it does. It only does it for half a second, but you watch. 50, 35. See that? I didn't touch a thing. Because we're running on 110 volts. So that's what I'm saying, guys. Just make sure you get what you pay for. Because you can buy a 35 amp plasma cutter. It's a lot cheaper than a 50 amp plasma cutter. And if you're only going to get... 35 amps out of it anyway, why do you want to pay the extra money? That's what I'm saying. So guys, we'll do a quick test. I've got it set up on 110 volt. I'm cutting about 5 or 6 mil plate, which is a, quite a heavy plate. So we'll do this on 110, see how it goes.
see that guys that's quite reasonably slick 110 volt no problem at all you'd probably do twice that thickness on 110 volt without too much bother whatsoever I would say but anyway let's change over the plugs now and we'll do exactly the same cut but I'll do it at 240 volt see if we can do it any quicker or any better right now guys the full voltage now we're at 220 See that guys, it's a little bit quicker and it might be a little bit cleaner cut. Probably not too much though, but like I say, on 5 or 6 mil, it's not too bad. Just when you're trying to cut thicker and thicker metal, that's when you really, your amperage kicks in. Like if you're restricted to 35 amps, you might only be able to cut like half inch. But if you can get it up to 50 amps, you might be able to cut 3 quarter inch. So that's about enough bullshit for me for today guys. All I was trying to do is explain if you buy a 50 amp or a 60 amp plasma cutter, you don't always get your 50 or your 60 amps. Depending on what sort of voltage you can put into it, is what you get out of it. Like a cut 50 machine, like I have here, you run it on 110 volts, you're going to get 35 amp max. As you've seen as I showed you, that automatically scales it back no matter how hard you turn the knob up. But if you're running 220 volts, then it'll go to 50 amp cutting, no worries at all. Anyway guys, same as usual, like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. I'll be really interested to hear if you guys have got access to multi-voltage in, in the USA, 110 and 220. Anyway, see you next time. Bye. Oh, guys, if you want to see a review about my new welding helmet that I brought, check up here. It's a Yes Welder welding helmet. If you want to see a review of the machine that I've been working with, check this side. I'll put a link up there and you can have a look at that as well. See you guys. Peachtools.com Peachtools.com Peachtools.com